Retransforming Downtown Las Vegas, the D Hotel. Derek Stevens, a name unknown to Las Vegas less than 20 years ago. He and his brother Greg bought a share of the Golden Gate in 2006. They expanded and renovated before deciding they wanted to add to their portfolio. So they bought the Irish theme Fitzgerald located on the southeast end of Fremont Street. They bought it from Don Barden, who is the first African-American casino owner in Las Vegas. He passed away in May 2011, and they purchased it from the estate of Barden. And it didn't include the name Fitzgerald in the purchase, so they had a few months to come up with a new name. Come early March 2012, they revealed the new name, the D. It's meant to represent downtown's revival and pay homage to the Stevens Brothers' hometown of Detroit. The two-story casino and 638-room hotel was given a $15 million makeover. Many features were added, but why don't I just show them to you? Now let's go take a look. Depending on how you decide to roll up to the D, you might see the statue of the Mannequin Piss. The Mannequin Piss is a statue of a young boy peeing into a fountain. Right below the fountain is a placard that says, Mannequin Piss has been described as hardworking, yet fun-loving, affable, and slightly irrelevant. All qualities embraced by the D Las Vegas. Nestled below the outdoor escalators on Fremont Street that take you to the second floor of the D Casino is American Coney Island. It's open 24 hours and is the perfect place to grab a bite to eat when you and your friends are wandering drunk down Fremont Street at 3 a.m. American Coney Island pays homage to the Stevens Brothers' hometown of Detroit, where two other American Coney Islands are located. The inside is decorated with American flags and vintage photos. Guests can watch the employees cook their food right in front of them or from the windows on Fremont Street. Some items on the menu include fries, chili cheese fries, a bowl of chili, and the original Coney Dog. Or if you have a bit of a sweet tooth, you can order one of their delicious brownies. Right above the same escalators that take you to the second floor casino is the largest Kino board in the world. When not showing off Kino numbers, this board presents different advertisements to passerbys, such as this one informing guests that Blackjack at the D pays three to two. Guests can visit the D's Kino Lounge and choose their numbers, then watch and wait for their numbers to be called as they enjoy everything else Fremont Street has to offer. Here's a quick clip of how the Kino numbers are presented. Now we can take these escalators up to the second floor of the casino where they have the Vintage Vegas section located at. The Vintage Vegas section includes Sigma Derby and some older slot machines that you don't find in normal casinos. The vintage Vegas style slots are located all throughout the second floor of the casino. Some of the machines located in this section are Ultimate Diamond, Platinum Jackpot, Wheel of Fortune, Mega Bucks, Loose Deuce, and Joker Poker. Located right here on the second floor of the casino next to the vintage Vegas slot machines is the Blarney Stone. The Blarney Stone is taken from the Blarney Castle located in Ireland, and it is a piece of the Fitzgerald that they kept behind. They say that if you rub it, you can get a little bit of luck for your trip in Vegas. But if you really want the true luck, you're supposed to hang upside down and give it a nice kiss on top, if you don't mind a few decades of slobber. Located next to the Fortune Cup on the second floor in the Vintage Vegas section is a Sigma Derby game, which is an old-fashioned horse racing game where players are allowed to bet quarters on different mechanical horses that run around the game. This Sigma Derby is the only one in operation in all of the United States. It's very popular for not only the players, 
for the interaction of putting in the quarters and the satisfaction of receiving quarters when you win, but also for the bystanders that get to watch their horses run around the track. First, players insert their desired amount of quarters. Then, you choose which horse you want to bet on. The payout for each horse is displayed on the side of the track. Each quarter counts as one bet, and you can place as many bets on each horse as you want. There's about 30 seconds between each race, which gives players enough time to choose new horses to bet on and insert more quarters. After that 30 seconds is up, the gates open and the race begins as players cheer on their favorite mechanical horse. On the first floor of the D Casino, there are many different things to do. When you first walk in from the Fremont Street entrance next to the 3rd Street stage, there's a McDonald's to the right hand side. Next to the McDonald's is the Long Bar. Across from the Long Bar are several table games, most equipped with the lovely dancing dealers. Some of the table games include craps, blackjack, roulette, and baccarat. Also on the first floor are a wide variety of modern slot machines. Across from the front desk is the gift shop where you can find the first in-casino Bitcoin machine in Las Vegas. Located on the first floor of the D Casino is the Long Bar. At 1,300 square feet, the Long Bar is the longest bar in all of Nevada. It allows about 32 guests to sit and play different games on the computer machines below, as well as be served drinks while watching sports on several flat screens that are provided for them. During the renovation of the D, they included different pictures of the different neon signs that used to be on Fremont Street, just to pay homage to downtown and its new revival. Woo! Wasn't that fun? The D not only brought more attention and business to downtown, but it brought in over a hundred more jobs. Following the D's renovation, many more features were added, such as the Slotzilla, which opened in late 2012. It takes riders halfway down Fremont Street, 77 feet above, and they sit in an upright position and zoom halfway down. Then later on, they added another line that's 114 feet tall, and it takes riders all the way down Fremont Street in a superhero style position. Following the success of the D's renovation, Derek Stevens was given the opportunity to build on it, and so he created a new hotel called Circa, which will be opening in 2020. It's the first casino resort built in downtown within the last three decades. There will be 777 rooms, as well as a two-level casino, just like the D. He's also wanting to bring more betting into downtown, so he's creating a three-level sports book, which with the largest screen in Las Vegas for sports betting. The success of the D allowed him to create these new things and experiment with everything that he's wanted to do. But the heart of it will always be at the D, with the third street station right outside and dancing dealers entertaining passerbys. There will never be a dull moment at the D. So take a chance and stay downtown and see all that Fremont Street and the D has to offer. Thank you for joining me on a trip downtown.